In this second episode of a three-part series on Taipei, prepare to be enthralled by the architectural wonder. Taipei 101, we witness Taipei's crown jewel in all its towering glory and dine at a cafe on its 88th floor. Let's not forget the night market of Taipei. We ended our night at Raohe Night Market where tantalizing aroma danced through the air and vibrant stores offer a sensory feast for the curious explorer. Let's go! Very good morning. Today is another new day here at Taipei and we are now at the Elephant Mountain. We are at the peak of the Elephant Mountain. Yeah, it is a long way up. It's said to be 1,700 stairs. Most part of the trail is just long flight of stairs up. There's very little flat road, but there's ample space at the side for you to take a rest or take a break. The main reason we come to Xiangshan is to look at the different angle of Taipei 101. There's about two different observatory or viewpoint. One is right at the top of the peak. The other one is about 100 meters from the peak. Both of them offer very, very nice view of the Taipei 101. It's definitely worth the climb, but it's quite tiring. So take enough breaks on the way up. Next stop, level 88 of Taipei 101. Yep, we are going. Yeah. We will see you when we get there. We are now at level 88 at Taipei 101. We are now inside the simple cafe. Good food, good view. In order to get this seat, we will need to spend $1,500. So we ordered quite a lot of desserts and coffee. So I will try the toast first. This is not an ordinary toast. This is the whiskey butter toast. The outer layer of the toast is very crispy. We have took several photos and it's still very crispy. So even though it's a uh, whiskey butter toast, but we only can smell the whiskey but not taste the whiskey. The spread is a bit sweet, like honey. So overall, the taste of the bread is like honey and butter, but it smells like whiskey. Next, I will try the ice cream. So this is an award-winning ice cream called avocado, but it doesn't have avocado inside. Very unique. On the first mouth, I got the taste of the espresso and a very strong taste of orange. The other side of the ice cream, I taste a totally different flavour. I taste milk and some citrusy taste. This ice cream is pretty unique. As you can taste the bitterness of the espresso, the citrusy of the orange and the fresh milk. Really good and unique. Next, I will taste the signature matcha roll. Wow, the matcha cream is oozing out. The cream and the matcha is very very smooth and the cake is very soft and fluffy, satisfied. It's a very good matcha roll. Last of our dessert, tiramisu. It's also one of the signature in this cafe. It has a very very strong coffee flavour. In the menu, they do mention that they include some alcohol in this tiramisu. I can only taste the coffee and the chocolate powder taste. The cream is very smooth. It's good. We ordered two drinks. First is the third prize of the World Barista Award called Chen Wu. And the other one is the normal iced americano. I will taste the iced americano first. This iced americano doesn't have the bitter taste, doesn't have the soury taste. It only has the flavour of the coffee. I think they use very good coffee beans. Next, third prize in the World Barista competition, Chen Wu. It's more of the alcohol than the coffee. The first sip of the drink, I tasted some soda texture. It's very refreshing. And then the alcoholic taste. It do have a very light coffee taste, but mostly it's the alcoholic taste. It's very unique. Need to try when you are here. If you are on a budget, you can come out here, order a takeaway, 
and still get the view. Initially, we wanted to head to the Starbucks on the 33rd level but it has permanently closed and that's why we opted to head to the Simple Cafe. A ticket up the observatory the on the 89th level of Taipei 101 costs about $26 and uh, 1500 spent on the cafe is only about $60 so for the both of us, it's only a $14 top up in order to head up the 88th level and enjoy all the different desserts as well as coffee. It is definitely worth the price if you want to head up to the Taipei 101. Some little facts about Taipei 101. It was once the tallest building in the world and has the fastest elevator. The design of Taipei 101 is heavily influenced by the Chinese culture, styles and lucky number. The main portion of the building is composed of 8 same modules. The number 8 is considered a lucky number in Chinese culture and the unique form of the tower was inspired by the form of pagodas in ancient China. Just a stone throw away from Taipei 101 is this military family's village. It has a very nice view of Taipei 101 and at the front, it is the olden style building. It's a very big contrast. And our next attraction here in Taipei, it is the Sun Zhongshan Memorial Hall. Some little fun fact about this memorial hall, the design of this building is selected through a public contest which perfectly matched his ideology. It's now 4.30pm and it is time for one of the best activity here in Taiwan. We are now at Rao He Ye Si and the first store that we have visited is this store called Feng Fa Hao. This is a more than 100 years old shop and it is famous for their glutinous rice as well as the Oa Mi Sua. So I'm not really a fan of Oa Mi Sua, so it might affect this review. First, I will taste the glutinous rice. It's called oil rice here. It has a very nice fragrance. It's actually very different from the glutinous rice in the sense that this is less oilier and it's a little bit drier but it is very flavorful. You can actually taste the very strong flavor of the meat really good. So you said online that this chili is really good. Let me try it. The chili is really spicy. It tastes like the chicken rice kind of chili. It actually mixes very well with the oil rice. Really very good. I like it that it's dry, not oily, very flavorful. Next up, the Oa Miso. Right from looking at this dish, there is some intestine, oyster, and of course the miso. This is actually really good. I don't really like to eat Oa Miso, but this one doesn't have the very strong Oa Miso taste. It's pretty light and the oyster is really fresh. I'll try the intestine. I feel the intestine is a bit overcooked, it's too soft. I like the intestine to be a little bit more chewy. But overall, it really changed my perception of Oa Miso. Maybe if you don't like Oa Miso, you can try this out. It's really good. Next stop, pork rib soup. It's called Chen Dong Pork Rib Soup. They gave us quite a few pork ribs. I think it's quite worth the money. And this store has been awarded Michelin Beat for five consecutive years. So the food must be up to certain standard. The soup tastes like bakute, the oily version of bakute. Let me taste the pork rib. The meat of the pork rib can be separated from the bone easily, which means they actually cook the pork rib for quite some time. And the pork rib do have a little bit of the herbal taste. Taiwanese style bakute. We are now at the entrance of Rao He Night Market and at the entrance of the night market is the very famous store selling pepper biscuit, Hu Jiao Pei. And we got one. I'm going to taste it. It's very, very hot because it just came out from the stove. So based on the packaging, CNN has awarded this store to be the top 10 good food in Taiwan and it has been awarded Michelin Beat for four consecutive years. The skin of the Hu Jiao Bing is nicely charred. It is within the pao and the tau sa pia texture. The outer layer is crispy and the inner layer is chewy. I haven't reached the meat yet. Finally, I reached the meat. The meat is juicy and they had some spring onion to add the flavor and it has a strong taste of the pepper. I think that's why it's called Hu Jiao Bing. I really enjoy the outer layer of the biscuit. It's very, very good.
our after meal dessert is at a place called Yu Ping Yuan, and this is their Hokkaido Ice Tang Yuan, Ping Huo Tang Yuan. And the reason why is because it has shaved ice at the bottom, then the hot tang yuan is placed directly on top. This is a very unique dish, and we have never seen it before. We have ordered the peanut and black sesame tang yuan with the osmentous base. The tang yuan is still very hot, and it's time to try. Mm. Even though there's a lot of steam, it looks really hot, but the tang yuan base is actually really cold, and you can just eat it straight away. It's not hot at all. The tang yuan is very chewy, very soft. The peanut is really sweet, as expected of a tang yuan. It's really very good. The skin is slightly thicker and chewy and soft. Normally when you eat tang yuan, it's really hot, so you have to like bite it and slowly chew into it. But this one, you can just put in your mouth and let the flavor burst. Very unique way of eating tang yuan. So after we have finished all the tang yuan, we can actually add osmentos and lemon and it will become a shaved ice dessert. You can add as much as you want. But I'm not sure how sweet it is, so I'll just add a little first. Now becomes a very refreshing dessert for hot weather like this. Very worth the money. Two dessert in one. Next up, we are now having the Chen Jia Wu Yu Zi and it's a specialty in Taiwan. So according to the store owner, while they are making this Wu Yu Zi, they try to lower down the bitterness, fishiness, saltishness of the Wu Yu Zi. And the store owner is very kind. He actually torched the Wu Yu Zi for us. I'm going to taste it now. It's like the crab roll because he torched it for us. The outer layer is a bit crispy and the inner layer is just like the crab roll. Very nice. So according to the store owner, a lot of TV program has endorsed his store. He's the only one that is able to lower down all the bitterness, saltiness and the fishiness of the wu yu zi. Come and try this, you can buy a small piece just like us. Almost every night market, we will buy this item and this is guava. This guava store in Raohe is pretty unique because it allows us to choose whether you want the crispy guava or the soft kind of guava or if we want to have the seed or not. We opt for the crispy kind of guava without seed and we are tasting the passion fruit sauce so, taste test. The guava is a hard kind of guava, it's not those crunchy kind of guava, ordinary guava. This is our 8th item here in Raohe Neck Market and it is this sweet potato ball. There's a lot of stores selling sweet potato ball here okay. at Raohe Night Market. Then the one we have chosen is one that has really big sweet potato ball. It looks really very nice. Look at how big it is. The inside is really airy but it is not just air. The skin of the sweet potato ball is actually quite thick and chewy and it has a very light sweet potato flavour which I like it a lot. Not bad, can try. Thank you for watching. Do hit the like and subscribe button for more travel related videos.